Hi, Jeff Simon here for Social Flight at Sun and Fun 2024. I'm here with Marshall Hoglund, and uh, tell me, we've got a big announcement that's about to happen in a few minutes here with, uh, that certainly looks like your A50 Junior underneath there. Right, and, and we're calling it, rather than announcement, we kind of did that in 2023 with the A50 Junior. This is a global unveiling. I say global because we have our partners in Germany uh -huh. that have been largely overseeing the development and the design process, but we are uh, the manufacturer in Battle Creek for all of the Americas, and um, this is going to have a different moniker than the Junior. Okay. And that's what we're going to find out today, and and we're going to follow that with the the press that's happening. Excellent. Well, I mean, I'm very excited. I can say that uh, I have flown the A50 Junior. Mm -hmm. I've been out to your facility also uh, out there at Battle Creek. It's mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful. And this is an amazing new classic. Yes. Uh, a, a new classic aircraft. You saw, if you take a look at one of the other videos that I've done out there, you get to see me flying that uh, fantastic aircraft. And now we're going to get to see something completely new. Yes. All right. You ready to do the unveiling? Yes. Let's Perfect. Do it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, members of the press, and fellow aviation enthusiasts, it's an honor and a privilege to be standing here on the Compass Rose at the 50th Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo with you this morning. This hallowed ground is a place of special significance. It's a literal and figurative crossroads where the past and future of aviation converge. If we imagine to the west, Marga von Erzdorf in 1930 flew from Berlin to Tenerife in a westerly heading. To the south, Bremer, the Finnish pilot, to Cape Town. And to the east, Seiji Yoshihara in 1930 from Berlin to Tokyo. And to the north, may we always remember our North Star and to keep heading forward. I would like to express our collective appreciation to the Sun and Fun staff, the many volunteers, and the event organizers. I would also like to acknowledge in our audience Mr. Dieter Morshek, a visionary chairman whose passion and dedication to aviation heritage has been the guiding force behind today's landmark event. Worthy of a round of applause. My name is Marshall Hagland. I'm the marketing manager for DMOR Group, which encompasses Waco Aircraft and Junkers Aircraft. Last year at Sun and Fun 2023, we celebrated the launch of the A50 Junior a significant milestone in reviving an icon of original aviation design. With the unveiling of the Rotax-powered A50 Junior, we were met with an immense outpouring of support for the mission in which we are engaged. A tradition of reviving legacy aircraft icons that have been forgotten by time and history. The Waka YMF, the Great Lakes 2T Sport Trainer, the Junkers F-13, and most recently the Junkers A-50 Junior are all venerated trademarks that were each painstakingly brought back from the brink of extinction. It is a noble cause, but it doesn't come without its challenges. When we decided to fit the A-50 Junior with the latest in economical and reliable power plants, the Rotax 912 IS, it forced a redesign of the nose and the engine cowling. Among other small details, the most prominent feature of the aircraft was not faithful to the architect's original form. After listening to our customers, the market, we re-engaged our pursuit of the best way to go forward. With the aircraft that sits covered behind me, we have meticulously captured the essence of Hugo Junker's imaginative and original design. Down to the smallest detail, we have built a tribute to the pioneer himself and a living testament to unbridled creativity and innovation. 
What better way or place to commemorate this moment than here in the shadows of the Aerospace Center for Excellence? It is now my pleasure to introduce to you a moment 95 years in the making, the global unveiling of the Junkers A50 Heritage. This is more than just a showcase of an aircraft. It's the culmination of months of painstaking design and build efforts to recreate Hugo Junker's original vision in its most authentic form. From the Werner Scarlet 7U radial engine to the split glass windscreen and the faithfully reinstated analog instrument panel, every detail has been meticulously crafted to bring you an experience that transcends time. I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to each one of you for joining us on this historic day. We invite you now to come closer, take photos, and personally inspect this beautiful piece of aviation history reborn. Thank you once again, and please come enjoy the Junkers A50 heritage in all its glory. Commemorates this year's Sun and Fun and the A50 Heritage with its new power plant. Um, we also have a sticker of the same design at our booth. We should have plenty of them. We're right over here on booth 008 at the end of this road. Well, that's the unveiling of the new Junkers Heritage Aircraft here at Sun and Fun 2024. I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight. Blue skies. <laughs>